All right, welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. We are here in the basement uh, in our utility room area, and we are going to dig in to start at least to reveal the uh, this this pipe leak issue. There's a drain pipe or sewer pipe, uh, wastewater pipe, whatever you want to call it, that runs down through our concrete here, and it is leaking and somehow getting into our underground uh, heating vents, uh, ductwork that's buried also in the concrete or under it. And so I need to figure out where those two meet, where they cross, where are the leaks uh, taking place, and fix it. Uh, this could be a ginormous project. It could end up leading to an entire rot, you know, rotted cast iron pipe all the way out to the septic tank. I don't know. I have to start getting into it though. There's no way, to, no way around it. I gotta, I gotta reveal the problem and, and chip out this concrete and figure out what's going on. So I think here is uh, our problem. They they did a repair here. I wonder if uh, if they replaced it with PVC. I would assume they would do that if they had to dig this up because it's dug up all the way back. I can see the cement pour here all the way back to the main sewer drain, but then it turns to cast iron there. And so I wonder why they left that, that cast iron piece in there or if they left all this cast iron in here. I don't know why they dug it up if they did that. So. Uh, but we do have a heating vent here, which makes me think that at some point this heating duct has to cross either under or over, I'm guessing under this sewer line. I have a feeling it's leaking somewhere along here, possibly even here, and it's running along the pipe and getting into the heating duct and then going down throughout all the other duct work in the house because this, this point's probably a little higher. So that's my theory, and there's only one way to find out if it's true or not. Start digging. I think I just, no, I didn't poke a hole in it. There's a pipe right here. This is, this is the duct. It's the heating duct right there. So I also have this drain back here. Now this is just a, a what was a, what I thought was a floor drain that normally goes into like a sump pump or something, but it actually, it connects to the sewer line somehow because we ran water down here and we could see it coming out in the septic tank. So. I may, that could be leaking also, this duct. It looks like it comes right through here. Yeah. Okay. That might be where the issue lies. You know, in the back of my mind, I thought the cement would be a lot thicker. <laughs> it's actually only a couple inches thick, so underneath it is uh, fill, really, gravel and sand. So it won't be as hard to, it's, it's just time consuming, but it's not as hard to get through this. And I think I might get out the concrete saw. Uh, now that I kind of know where things are and how deep it is, I can probably run the concrete saw a couple inches in, you know, make a path wherever I'm going to cut and then uh, figure things out from there. So I've been using my uh, chainsaw face shield and my air pods with noise canceling for uh, sound protection. I'm getting closer over to uh, this pipe which I know like I said connects to our sewer drain somehow and I'm starting to notice some some water underneath the, the paint on this pipe and I also noticed that this pipe is rusted through in a few places so 
And we might be getting closer to the issue here. I'm gonna keep working my way over and see if I can uh, uncover this pipe. It looks like they had probably some kind of a water softener drain or something like that put in here at one point, but I, I wanna know what, what's in here. What I found works the best is just to chip out from underneath it, score it, and then hit it with the hammer, the sledgehammer, and that seems to work. So I have gotten down this far and uncovered the uh, heating duct back to where this drain pipe was, where the utility sink was. And this definitely looks like it's rusted. This, there's like a cast iron piece right here. It looks like that's rusted out, but it doesn't look wet. Nothing is leaking around here. So I'm going to cut this open and uh, I'm going to cap this off anyway. So I'm just going to cut this right here. And then I want to see if it's wet in here because it could be leaking up, up the other way. Well, I have learned that that is not the issue. That pipe is dry. That, uh, all that heating duct is bone dry in there. So that's not it. It's not coming from here. All right, we're on the other side of the wall. Uh, this is the hole that I just dug over here where the heat, I took that heating vent out. And we're on the other side in another little room closet thing. On the right here is the main sewer line that comes down from the upstairs. This has uh, been replaced with CPVC or PVC up above this, and then there's a boot on it, and then it goes to cast iron. So I, I can only assume that it's cast iron all the way through the floor here. This is leaking for sure. I can see water behind it. So this I need to fix anyway. So the only thing I can think to do is just kind of keep chasing, chasing this down. I'm going to knock all this out in here get access to this and kind of see where that goes and see where it's leaking i have another theory my first theory was a fail it, did, it wasn't leaking into that vent but i'm wondering so this is all this was all broken up at another time maybe there was a heating duct in here and maybe they had this issue before and that's why they tore all this up and maybe they just capped off the heating duct under the floor but now it's leaking under here and just pouring into it i don't know I know it's leaking here. Got to figure this out. So I'm going to chase this next. If it, if the problem is not in this area, man, I don't know where it is. So wish me luck. That's wet. That is super wet. The other day when I was in here, I found a salamander. So I'm expecting at any moment for it to come running out of here. I don't know how it got in here. All right, well, so far, no luck downstairs under the concrete. I think that uh, I have definitely found a leak there that I want to fix, and uh, that's great. Uh, we'll ha I have to finish that part of this project also, but that doesn't solve the problem that I'm having of this water leaking into the ductwork. So. What we're going to do now is uh, look in a different place and see if we can figure this out. So let's pull the, the door off here and head back down underneath into this crawl space that we found uh, last week. And uh, let's check under here and see if we can dig into this a little bit further. Well, I've removed the ductwork uh, to all these takeoffs here. So all the six inch pipe and it had all this insulation that was wet and nasty. So we're going to replace all that. We're going to probably just replace all these pipes with insulated flex. We've got this 10 inch or 12 inch uh, main that comes out of here. And this is the one that goes underneath the house. You can hear all that water running out of it right there. I drilled some little holes when I first found this. So my plan is now I'm going to take this piece off, make sure all that water gets out of there. Um, this is drain water. Like I said, it's not toilet water. It's just from the sink and the, and the dishwasher. Still nasty. Once we get this off, we'll be able to see in here and uh, hopefully get a better idea of what's going on underneath this floor. I just, uh, 
don't have a 100% answer yet. I think I might have some solutions though, but. All these joints were, were just taped. They didn't, there's not a single screw in here. Actually seemed to work pretty good, so. Oh. <laughs> All right, takes care of that. All right, let's go up here with the flashlight and see. Well, it's hard to tell. Uh, I can see it goes in maybe maybe 10 feet and then it looks like it turns 90 degrees to the left. It's hard to tell. Everything's out of the floor. It's like a guess game. You can't, you can only, you only know what you know. All right, so we have, uh, we've done a lot of investigating. We've done a lot of looking around and testing different things. And we, I, I think I have a, uh, a narrowed down where the problem is and uh, a, a, a kind of a, a fix or a workaround. Um, in, uh, so let me try to show you the lay of, of the house and kind of show you so you can get a visual idea of what's happening. Okay, so out here is this, uh, this is the, the great room or, or whatever you want to call it, this living room. And here's the heating vents. There's one here. There's some around along the window there and on the other side of this, this room. Here's the fireplace. And in that crawl space down below, that's what's down below this, this entire room is is uh is crawl space underneath that's that new secret room that we found it's underneath this living room this is the fireplace that that uh you see down there as well that big pipe that comes out of the wall that heating pipe it's a white pipe it's right the wall is right here underneath this section of the house and that heating duct it's a i think it's a 12 or 14 inch heating duct that comes out of the the floor um, and that goes in uh, about 10 feet or so, somewhere underneath this section. And, uh, and then it runs directly back underneath all, this is all concrete under here. It runs directly back underneath the floor, all the way back to the furnace. So here's the, there's this little closet in the back of the house. So this is the far end of the house. There's the furnace here. And then you see that ductwork that uh, that goes down in the floor uh, and you can see that there's no way that any condensate would be leaking down here's the air conditioner here's the drip pan um, any condensation would be leaking straight down through the furnace and this is all dry nothing's leaking and it's been draining just fine so somewhere down here that pipe comes out in the floor but when i ran the kitchen sink which is directly above this spot right here kitchen sink or the dishwasher runs water pours out of that pipe and there's also a little sink in this bar that when I run that it also pours out of that pipe nothing else in the house seems to affect it so it's just this drain from the bar sink and from the kitchen sink drain I'm assuming that there's a pipe somewhere up in here that goes down through this wall into the concrete slab underneath the floor and runs underneath and somehow connects to that um, that bar sink and then runs all the way back underneath the floor all the way back somewhere under here somehow comes over and connects there's a bathroom and a toilet in this uh, spot here and then it comes in and connects to the uh, pipe here that I have that comes down and then there's some other drain pipes in that where I started knocking the uh, flooring out so somewhere in here it either runs along this spot I see another pipe coming in. I don't know where that goes. I don't know what that is. Uh, that could connect into it. But somewhere in the floor, that drain pipe goes all the way under here, goes all the way out, and underneath that bar and connects to that kitchen sink. So somewhere from this spot all the way back to that far wall, there's a leak in that drain pipe. And it is somehow connecting up with that ductwork underneath the cement. And that water is finding its lowest point out there underneath that new crawl space we found, and it's pouring out into that spot. So that's the issue. So it took a lot of kind of troubleshooting and, and figuring things out, but I still do have a leak over there that I need to fix. And I have a lot of cast iron piping in the ground over there too, that needs to be probably replaced. I haven't even dug down deep enough to get to the cast iron sewer pipe down there yet. That's a whole nother project that I'll kind of put off. 
right now I just need to fix it so that we can use the kitchen uh, drain in the kitchen sink and the dishwasher and make sure that that portion is fixed. Sometimes the troubleshooting process just it takes takes time and, and just taking one step and trying one thing and trying the next thing and trying to figure all this out. So I think we have a solution. I think we, we know what the problem is. Uh, somewhere underneath the floor here, it's hard to tell. You can't see anything under there. You can't expose it without tearing up you know a lot of concrete. And so uh, makes it makes it a challenge. But I got my, my helper here. We're gonna dig into this uh, next part of the project. So stick around for the next video for that. And we'll uh, see if we can get this thing fixed. So thanks for tagging along. Hit thumbs up if you've enjoyed the, the, the process of trying to figure out what this, this strange issue is in the house. And uh, we will uh, we'll get this thing fixed. That's part of, part of owning an older house is you know, digging into these things and getting this stuff fixed and upgrading you know, plumbing and upgrading heating and cooling and upgrading piping and, and all this kinds of stuff in the house. Uh, it, it increases the value of the home and, and makes things you know, uh, last longer. And that's what we want to do. So uh, lots more to come on this project. So love to have you guys tag, uh, tag along, stick around, hit subscribe, of course, for that. Don't forget to hit thumbs up. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.